Today we're learning how to make a realistic snowy mountain using Gaia and Blender 3.0. Open Gaia and add a mountain node. I'm going to check bulky to make the mountain a bit larger. Mainly I just move these settings around until I find something that I like. I'm going to bring the edge in a bit. Changing the seed essentially just randomizes the shape of the mountain. Now add a plates node. And this will be the surrounding terrain. Now add a combine node. Connect the output of the mountain and plates to the inputs of the combine node. Adjust the ratio so that the mountain is more apparent. Now add an erosion node and connect the combine node to the erosion node. Again, I'm adjusting the settings until I find something that I'm happy with. That looks pretty good. And now that we see the erosion applied, I want to make a few adjustments in the mountain. Right click on the erosion node and select pin and that will pin that view to the viewport. That way you can go back and make adjustments and see them update with the erosion applied and you don't have to switch back and forth between nodes. And once again, just cycling through settings until I find a mountain shape that I like. You can also change the lighting to see what the mountain will look like in different lighting conditions. Select the sun icon and move around the dial. You can change the time of day and direction. And now we can unpin this. Select a snowfall node and connect the erosion to the input of the snowfall. The default settings look pretty good. I just want to add a little bit more melt. Now it's time to find a color and texture for the mountain. So I want to up the resolution of the viewport to 2K. I'm going to right click on erosion and click pin as underlay. That way the mountain shape will remain in the viewport while we cycle through textures. Now add a texture node and connect the output of the erosion to the input of the texture.
and add a sat map. Right now I'm looking for something uh, volcanic or rocky. I want this to stand out from underneath the snow. And this one looks pretty good. Let's see. And now I'm just gonna adjust the sat map so that it is mostly a darker tone. And I actually like how the lighter tones are coming through where the edges of the mountain would be. Now add a combine node and connect the snow to the combine and the sat map to the combine. Change the blending mode to max and 100%. I want to make a few adjustments on the sap map. And that looks pretty good to me. Awesome. Now to export the height map, right click on the erosion and select mark for export. Now to get the texture, right click on the last combined node and select mark for export. Now select the build tab and rename the combined node to texture and the erosion node to height. Change the file type of the texture to a PNG and the file type of the height map to an EXR. It's up to you what resolution you want. I'm choosing 8192 and under options select the range and choose raw. Now save the project and click start build. Now open up Blender. We're going to change the render engine to cycles, the feature set to experimental, and I'm going to use the GPU because it's much faster than my CPU. Now shift A and add a plane. Tab over to edit mode, right click and select subdivide, and change the subdivisions to 100. Now open a new window and bring up the shader editor. Create a new material. Under the material settings, go down to surface and under displacement, select displacement and bump. Back in the shader editor, add an image texture. Duplicate the texture and add a displacement. Connect displacement to displacement and the image texture to height. Now open the height file that you exported from Gaia. And in the second image texture, open the texture file that you exported from Gaia. Connect the texture to the base color. And now select the render view. and adjust the mid-level to get the height back to where it originally was. And I'm just gonna add a sun to see the details a bit better.
And we're almost done, we just need to give this a bit more detail. Select the melon. Head over to the modifiers tab and add a subdivision surface. Make sure adaptive subdivision is checked. And there you go. I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and uh, we'll see you next time.